Welcome to an all new Taste Tahoe, joined by executive chef at the Tahoe Ridge, Stefan Moyes. Welcome. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Yeah, it's always nice to have you in studio and to get to learn from the best. Now, I understand today we're going to make a short rib. Yeah, so we're going to do a Merlot braised short rib, and they're actually my favorite cut. What I like about it is it's, it's simple preparation. It's marinate, sear, bake, and eat. These are beef short ribs. Um, these are a large cut. It's a three and a half ounce cut. So we're going to take these bones. What you do is you just work your knife really slowly along the cartilage and ligaments through the two bones. And then you come here and there's always an area between the bones and you're going to cut right in between it, right down. And the bone itself, you want to wrap around so it makes this really beautiful tight. And what that does is it really holds in a lot of the juices. So then you take a piece of string, butcher twine, whatever, and you can just take one piece and just make one nice cut on it. And you want to tug it a little snug, like your first toe on the, when you're tying your shoe. And then I just tie it up one more time. You want to take um, Merlot wine, Remember, don't cook with anything you wouldn't drink. Um, carrots, celery, onions. We have some fresh thyme, peppercorns, and bay leaves. A teaspoon of peppercorns and like four bay leaves. A couple heads of garlic, that's it. And what this does is you're going to marinate this for 24 hours. And you put leave it in the refrigerator. And it does sit for 24 hours. And it turns out really, really beautiful. Um, purple. And you're going to take this and just season it lightly with kosher salt and fresh black pepper. So after you you have this pan, you have your oil and a little bit of butter to get some browning on. Um, it's really great because you can see the seasoning and you just set it down. And you want to press down in the pan on the cold short rib. And what that does is it sears everything because you want to close the, the, all the cells so it keeps all the juice in. And where there's juice, there's flavor. So I want to kind of keep this, get this a nice crust. So what we're looking for is this really beautiful crust around the side. It's seared out. You want to push down again, try to get that. And you can already start to smell the wine and the herbs and the um, the thyme, the onions, smells yeah. really good. Smells really good. So not only do you have to marinate it, but then you have to drink a bottle of wine when you eat it. So it of works course. Out. So of course. It works out really great. So yeah, we're remembering the only intention in this part. Your intention was to marinate it and to bring in the flavors. Then your intention for searing the short rib is just to give it a texture difference, like you were saying. And also give it really this really nice crust so it closes everything in. So beef stock and uh, the marinade and the vegetables and the herbs up to the top, covered in foil, throw it in the oven. Simple as that. Simple as that. And then You're, go for your hike. Yeah, exactly. Your perfect Tahoe meal. Thank you so much for joining us on You're this welcome. edition of Taste Tahoe. Short rib never looked so good. We'll see you next time.